A Shalom. First and foremost, give all praise to Yahweh. The Bible says, the great millstone. Shalom to all you brothers in the highway. The Bible is the words of sailing faithful, continue fighting that good fight of faith. Lord willing, we have found that number to be delivered. Until then, we're going to come out, push the word, give your articles, give your prophecy, give your testimony. May it all be edifying. All right, so anybody got anything right off the rip? So, go ahead. I'll start at um, Ezekiel 3, mm -hmm. 17. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 3 verse 17 and it reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Yep. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Right, and that's what, that's what we came to do, man. As we as we come down these last days, we're letting you people know you, you're being warned, you're being admonished. We're telling you that the Lord's about to come down and make his move and crack some ass out here, man. So we're giving you that heads up. Be aware. Be admonished. Take heed to what we're telling you. Because it's only going to get worse every passing day that goes by, things are gonna get worse, man. There's a lot of shit happening right now. And we're trying to come out and do as we have been commanded to do, to give them warning from the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. It ain't, it ain't just, don't don't look at us as men looking to, uh, for views or looking for, you know, a accolades. This is come out here trying to save our life as well, man. All right, go ahead. Okay, now, this is a quick article, right? Yep. This is what the brothers bring out. Now, this is from TheGuardian.com, and the headline read, read that Putin one U.S. against deploying long-range missile in Germany. He warns U.S.? Yep, yep he warns yep, U.S. Yep, yep. against deploying yep. long-range missiles in Germany. Yep. And then in the bottom, he says this, Vladimir Putin has warned the U.S. that if Washington deploys long-range missile in Germany from 2026, Russia will station similar missile within the striking distance of the West. Right, and see, when, when people see these articles and these news clippings, they just take it with a grain of salt because again, America has never been touched before. America's that, uh, that virgin daughter that the scriptures speak of. It never been touched before. And this is why the American people have no fear, man. They're not, they're not worried about what the hell these news articles are saying. They're not worried what Putin's been doing because never ever has it been touched from an outside entity, right? But the days are winding down now but these nations are, are gearing up and they're strategically positioning themselves for that great and dreadful day, man. The coming of the Lord. Go ahead. And then he says, the U.S. will start deploying long-range fire capability in Germany in 2026 in the effort to demonstrate its commitment to NATO and European defense. Right. Lord willing, it don't go that far. They're talking about 2026. We hasten in the day, man. Yeah. We want this thing to be destroyed as soon as possible. Exactly. That's right. right. But in the event, however the Lord, you know, sees this thing to go on, we're going to continue to prophesy. Right. So we're going to continue to warn you and give you that warning and let you know these things are about to go down, man. The Lord is about to send them missiles from to and fro throughout the four corners of the earth. And ain't nobody going to be able to goddamn do a damn thing to stop it, man. And then the, one, the last one, and he says, In speech on Sunday to sailors from Washington, China, Algeria, and India to mark Washington Navy Day in the former imperial capital of Sesame, Says Petersburg, Putin told U.S. it was triggering a Cold War style missile crisis with the move. So you're saying that you doing what you're doing right now, you are risking a Cold War. Right. You know. Right. So and it's, and it's, and it's, it's there. We had a we had a Cold War right now. Yeah. There's a lot of talks going by. Going back to Matthew's talks about rumors of wars. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Uh, Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming mm -hmm. and the end of the world? Mm -hmm. And Yahweh Shad answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, for when, we, when we hear these things and see these things, a common spirit comes over us because we understand what, what the hell is going on in the world. But the minute anybody outside of this thing of ours starts hearing, and when they do hear stuff about war and missiles and rockets, they get all stressed out and they get worrisome because they're like, whoa, what's, what's going to happen? Are my son going to get drafted? You know, are we going to have to, you know, take cover somewhere? But we have the hopeful elect, man. This brings music to our ears when we hear about all these nations coming together or, or coming against each other, if you will. Because that time is drawing in, man. We almost out of here. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
says, uh, this is, uh, I'm sorry, Ezekiel 33 and 33. Yep. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. You know what? Pull me Matthew's, uh, pull me Matthew's, uh, 5 and 24 as well. Because you gotta, you gotta also look at it like this. Right now, people are starting to open their eyes a little bit. You see what I'm saying? People are starting to look around and say, well, wait a minute, what's going on? Now people are wanting to know what should we do or where are you going to go or is this really happening? Because why? Because everybody on this in this country right now has been absolutely misled and deceived about what's going on. You see? And because they've been misled and deceived, and now that they're hearing the prophets on the highways and byways, they're seeing these things, they're linking up, even those who have passed by at some point. We, we, we said last, a couple weeks back, this cat went to the food court, you walk by, what do you say? He said, everything you guys have been saying is the truth. Right. You know, it's happening. And who knows how long ago he's been coming by, but it's evident. Give me Matthew 5 and, uh, what's this? We have Matthew 14. Yeah. It says, uh, Matthew 5, verse 14 says, You are the light of the world, mm -hmm. and a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Right, we are the light of the world. Why? Because the Lord set us up to come out and prophesy these things. All right? And everybody sees who we are. They know who we are. There's no mystery. There's no secret. All right? We're coming out doing the bidding of God, Bashmi al Shai. Announcing the judgment of America and pronouncing the judgment of all you other nations that are going to be going into captivity. Nobody's going to be sharing the throne with the nation of Israel. These other heathens, the other nations, nobody's going to be getting down with us like that. All right? But we are that light. The Lord has set us up. And we're giving you exactly what the Lord commanded us to give you. It says, neither do men light a candle and put it on a bushel, but on a candlestick. Right. So we, we, we have this information. We have this information. The spirit of power, the whole bunch of the shine. Now we got to deliver it. We're not going to bite our tongue. We're not going to hold back. We're not going to cut corners. We're going to tell you just like it is, man. That if you are of the other nations, you're going into slavery. That's right. Bottom line. If you're right. an Israelite, we're going to tell you to get yourself right. That you can avoid the judgment come from Babylon the Great, man. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, and it gives light unto all them that are in the house. Mm -hmm. It says, let your light so shine before men mm -hmm. that they may see your good works. Right, let your light shine before men that they may see your good works. Because a lot of people don't believe our report, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't believe what we're telling them. You always got scoffs and scorners coming up. Oh, so you're saying if this happens, you're saying if someone's gonna come and crack it. You're saying, you're saying, no, the scriptures are telling you that. We're just the mouthpiece for the Heavenly Father and His Son to come out and let you know this is what's contained in the book that you never opened. The book that you got on the mantle with the tassel draped down the middle of somewhere in Psalms where you think you know the Lord, you think you, you know, the Lord knows your heart, which He does, but not in the way that you think thinking, man. The Lord's gonna start pronouncing judgment on a lot of people, man. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and it says, um, it says uh, that that they may see your good works and may glorify your Father which is in heaven. Right, and that's what it's all about. Pushing that name of Yahweh Bash Shai throughout the four corners of the earth, man. No more this Yahshua, no more this Yahweh, this Mosai and Christ. All that shit is nonsense. That shit ain't gonna get you nowhere, man. You got something? Yeah. Come, on, come. On. The second Ezra is fourteen and thirteen. It says, now therefore set thy house in order yep. and reprove thy people, yep. come for such as be in trouble yep. and now renounce corruption. Right, and this is company, man. People hear this word and they truly understand it's company. Because we know that we have a savior that's coming to get us, man. And deliver us up out of here. You know? Uh, this is our first Samuel chapter 12, verse 22. It says, for the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake. Right, for the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake. All right? Give me, um, um, have Lord, the Lord cast away his people. Uh, Romans 11 and 40. Give me that real quick. Come on, keep that. This is uh, Ezekiel 33 and 1. Yep. It says, again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Watch your back, brothers. Watch your back. Speak to the children of thy people what? and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, what about this? When you take a man for the, for, uh, of their coast, so in other words, when you subscribe and you believe and you watch, you have put us in that position to be your watchman. You see? 
And now the words and the things that we bring to you, you take heed to, you listen, you watch, you study, you pray on things, all right? So we have been set up as your watchmen. Go ahead. Yep. If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, mm -hmm. his blood shall be upon his own head. Right, so again, we're coming out here and we're telling you, all you brothers out here are in the same state. We're all in the same state. We see the sword coming and we're giving you the warning. We're letting you know that these things are gonna happen. Whether you on the highways or byways, or whether you're talking to somebody that you may know from a year, you run into them, you know, y'all start talking, chopping it up about whatever it is. Listen, the, the Lord is coming to destroy this place, man. All right? So if you take a man for your watchman, you know, your post for your watchman, you best believe and truly totally, totally believe on what they say to you, man. Seeing that they're coming in the right spirit. Seeing that they're coming in truth and sincerity. Because you got a lot of flunkies out there who are, who are, you know, who are wingish, who are winging things and not really coming clean with what the scriptures are saying, man. You know, this is Babylon the Great. This is the place the Lord's going to destroy. That's utterly. Right. That's There's not right. going to be nothing left over here, man. That's the good news. That's right. Say if y'all watch me, y'all shout. That's the gospel. That's the gospel right there. Right. Go ahead. It says, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. Right. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. We have blown that trumpet. How many people have come up to brothers in camp? Ah, you think this is crazy. Get yep. us out of here. How many people? Yeah. Uh, they ain't taking warning. But slowly but surely, you see all these people now poking their head out of the sand, talking yep. about, what was that y'all was saying? Yeah. Yep. I said something about, yeah, something about a missile or something, what was that? You know? But again, it's all fun and games until the Lord starts, you know, wreaking havoc on this place, man. Oh, yeah. That's Nobody right. wants to believe the report. We're like fools out here. They call us fools. Until they call us, you know, whatever they, whatever they call us, man. If I can say it. Good. Go on. Um, because I was thinking of uh, this lady here, uh, Kamala. Mm -hmm. uh, that's running for uh, Come on, president. Was, was yeah, he's running for president. And uh, I started thinking about uh, in ancient times when a woman was, was set up uh, to, to take the helm, right? In, in the case of Deborah, Deborah right? It was always uh, it was Man. always uh, the state of that nation or the state of that people it was always a low one, right? And it was almost like the Lord's way of saying that that was that your nation was real low and in a bad case so much so where i'm gonna have to put a woman to place uh, uh, right so it's it's, it's it's I don't, I don't know if she's gonna win i don't know what esau's plan is but if she does then that's that's going to show you that the state of this place I mean, either way either way america's gonna be destroyed but her being in power how how poetic would it be for for the lord to put a woman in the power of this nation as he takes her down hey if, if, if i if, if i may add to it oh no, no look, look, look at look at Jessica. When, 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 when she has some type of power, when, when, when the boss she has the son of the prophet, you know, mm -hmm. committing great sin against Israel, you know, mocking the name of his father, just like Carmela Harrison, you know? Yeah. So, I just want to throw that out there, man. I'm so, going to keep reading this. Verse 6 in Ezekiel 33, it says, But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Lord said the blood that he's going to require at the watchman's hand. So therefore, we got a job to do. Yes. And as we come out here and do what we were supposed to do and commanded to do, woe unto us if we preach not the gospel of the scripture says, man. That's right. That's right. You know? And, it, and, it'll come. and you know there's a lot of men out there who are telling you that you don't have to listen to the prophets. This thing ain't what is, you know, you don't have to believe on what's going on. You know, the Lord ain't gonna do nothing like that. The Lord would do no evil. There's men out there who are really pushing these ideas, man. And people are getting sucked away and swallowed up by that madness. Go ahead. There, there has to be a, a watchman, you know, there has to be a, a, let's say, like when it says in Romans, I think it's a 10 or 14, where yeah, it talks yeah. about uh, having a teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, have, you have to have that, right? Because, especially now in this time, even more so because in this time, the Lord wants you to believe without His presence, being there, right? So you have to have that that intercessor, that middleman, to, 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 to preach the word of, of the Heavenly Father to see if the people are going to listen to that. Um, let me read this and then we'll go to that. I really want to let the elders 
Um, verse 7 it says, So thou, O son of man, mm -hmm. I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Yep. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. Right, and that's clear, man. That's clear. And if you ain't out there doing exactly what you were commanded to do, to give these people warning, then the Lord's going, your blood's going to be on your own hands, man. And all those who hear you, you're, you're, you have got a lot of blood on your hands, you people out there, man. All right, we're coming down to the wire where all the games and the fooling around and bullshit is over, man. You got to get serious. Because before you know it, the devil's going to come down having great wrath. And you know how that goes. All right, go ahead, Obi. Yeah, verse 8, it says... When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way, right, to turn this from wicked is not to so Israel yeah, about our people. Yep. Yep. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of, of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, Shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Right, we can, we can, we all know somebody that hasn't hasn't turned from their wicked ways. We all know somebody who's been around, listening, scoffing and scorning, and ain't turned from their ways. So we can pretty much say these people are gonna die, man, in their wickedness. Well, it says, therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Yep. Thus ye speak, saying. If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, mm -hmm. and we pine away in them, mm -hmm. how should we then live? Mm -hmm. Say unto them, as I live, saith the Lord power, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Mm -hmm. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Right, so you out there doing wickedness, you really doing wickedness, you better take thought for your life, man. The Lord said, turn ye from your wicked ways. That's simple, man. This, we're, living in a, if I, if I good, we're living in a time where, where it's time for us now to try to get back in the good graces of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh mm -hmm. Because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is getting ready to lay this place flat, right? Mm -hmm. And whoever isn't right uh, and, and, and with, the, with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh in a way where they can be delivered, they're gonna they're gonna fall victim to that, that that leveling of this place. Go ahead, bro. This is uh the book of Zephaniah, chapter one, verse twelve. Yep. It says, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles yep. and punish the men that are settled on their knees. Right. So when you when you search someone with a candle, right? What are you doing? Anything that's being done in the dark, right? You're now putting light on it so it can be seen, right? So that all of those things are are, are being done right now when you see. All of these different uh, things that are, are coming down the pike, meaning, meaning in the order, right? That, those, that's the light being uh, put on those things. Keep on. It says, and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. Right, to be settled on your leaves. Leaves is like to say, uh, just sitting back, right? Set, settled on your leaves, right? Keep on. It says, that say in their heart, the Lord, Yahweh, will not do good, mm -hmm. neither will he do evil. Right, but just, you know, I, nothing, nothing's going to happen, right? No good's gonna happen, no bad's gonna happen. But we were talking about this earlier, me and the elder here, and it's, it's, it's like, how do, you, how do you live your life without the thought of the expectations of, of the Heavenly Father? And most people don't. They're, again, settled on their knees. It says, therefore, their good shall be a, uh, become a booty, and their houses a desolation, yep, yep. and they shall also build houses, but not inhabit them, yep, yep. and they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. That's it, that's it. So all of these things are going to be taken from them. America, right, as it as it stands, is going to be destroyed, as the, as the scriptures say, right? And really, really, that's what your, your mind should be set in. Your mind should be set in, what, what is the Heavenly Father's plan? What is what are his expectations and what's gonna to happen to those who don't meet his expectations, right? Um give me um what's that uh, uh uh second Peter, I think it is two and five, where it says uh uh it, it ends it ends with saying uh 
as an end sample that they destroy Sodom and gotcha. destroy Jesus. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Second Peter chapter two verse four. Yeah, yeah. yeah For yeah, if yeah. the Most High spared not the angels right. that sinned, right. but cast them down to hell yep. and delivered them into chains of darkness yep. to be reserved unto judgment, yep. and spared not the old world, yep. but saved Noah, right. the eighth person. Right. So what's the old world? The old world being uh, the land or the world before the flood, right? Yep. Go ahead, keep going. A preacher. Uh, I'll read that again. And spared not the old world, yep. but saved Noah, the eighth person. Right. So. Noah, the eighth person, meaning Noah, his three sons, and all of their wives, those eight people were delivered from that old world, right? So there was a remnant saved from that old world, or an elect that was saved from that old world, right? You know? A preacher of righteousness, yep. bringing in the flood yep. upon the world of the ungodly, yep. and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah right. into ashes. Right, so he also did that to the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Wipe, completely wiped them out. Right, there's, they still to this day they try to find out where the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, sorry, Sodom and Gomorrah could have been. Yeah. Still to this day, I was, I, uh, I was, I was looking at on YouTube, and they, and uh, I saw, I was, I was looking at something else, but in the related videos, it showed a, a picture of where they think the land might be. But the Lord wiped that place out, man. He wiped it out completely. Keep going. Uh, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into yep. ashes, yep. condemned them with an overthrow, yep. making them an example right. unto those that right. after should live right. ungodly. So every every nation that we're gonna that was gonna live ungodly after that was gonna be destroyed. That's right. So in you you in your mind's eye, knowing this, you should be trying to get back in good with the Heavenly Father, man. Yeah. And, and and you should you should really understand what the outcome of this place is gonna be. Right. right? Because what did this place do? This place uh, did those things of Sodom and Gomorrah, and it's definitely doing the things of the old world, right? So the Heavenly Father has to wipe this place out in, in like manner as the old world in Sodom and Gomorrah, right? So our, our, our thinking should always be, damn, and, you know, like, you know, it's, it, it's a cliche at this point, right? But they, they used to have these little braces that had the WWJD on it, and that should be your mindset, right? Of course, we don't call the Lord uh, Jesus, but your mindset should be, what would the Lord Yahweh Shai do in this time? What would he do? And it, his his main concern was fulfilling the will of the Father, right? So that should be our concern. Go ahead. This is uh, Baruch chapter 4, verse 28. Yep. Yeah. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, yep, yep, yep. so being returned, seek him ten times more. Yep, yep. So so being returned, seek him ten times more, man. And that's our that's our goal is to, to, to get back in good with the Heavenly Father and what, what his expectations are. Right, because this this place is, is temporary. It's not gonna last forever. It's, and, and really, we're we're at the end of its reign. We're at the end of its rule. Right. The heavenly Father has to wipe this place out for our kingdom to come, wherein dwell of righteousness. Right. Yep. Psalm six and one. Yep. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy anger, mm -hmm. neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Mm -hmm. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, yep. kill me. For my bones are vexed. Yeah, and, and that's what you have to ask for mercy, right? Because now you know the expectations, right? You know what the Heavenly Father expects out of a man, right? And so you say, damn, I, I hope the Lord have mercy on me. And this is this is the same cry that you have. You, you pray for mercy. You pray, you pray that the Heavenly Father will have mercy on this, this weak nature that you're in. Right? Go ahead. My soul is also so vexed. Mm -hmm. But thou, O Lord, how long? Mm -hmm. Return, O Lord, mm -hmm. deliver my soul, mm -hmm. O save me. For, for thy righteous, for thy mercy's sake, mm -hmm. for there is death, uh, for in death there is no remembrance of thee. Yep. In the grave, who shall give thee thanks? That's right. That's right. So, so in, other, in other words, keep me alive. Yeah. Keep me alive. Save yeah, I can me. Can praise that. Man. Deliver me, so I can praise you. Yep. Yep. And that's that's what's coming, man. And that's me, me and the elder and I. I mean, it, it didn't feel like it until now. We're now we're out here on the highways and byways speaking, but it was a profound conversation that we were having. About just hoping that you can make it, man. you know, just hoping that the Lord will deliver you, deliver your family, and whoever He sees that you love, hoping that He, he delivers you. Man. Because it, look, we're, we're 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 coming upon the time that's a that's a, a difficult time to endure, man. But we hope that the Lord helps us to endure. You know, you your your prayer should be those of endurance. Your your prayer should be for perseverance. Your prayer should be for mercy, grace. 
That's what your prayer should be about in these times because the Lord is getting ready to wipe this place out, man. Unless, unless you want to be swept up with it. Unless you want to, you got something? Yeah, I got something too. Yo, please hit the scissors. I'll go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Hey, um, this is 2 Peter chapter 3. I start at 5. And it reads, it says, For this they willingly are ignorant mm -hmm. that by the word of the Lord the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water in the water whereby the world that was then was being overflowed with water perished mm -hmm. but the heavens and earth which are now mm -hmm. by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment yep. and, and perdition of ungodly men. Yep. So so mm -hmm. so judgment and perdition meaning destruction mm -hmm. of those ungodly men, right? Mm -hmm. Gone. Um it says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, yep. as some men count slackness, yep. but it is long suffering to us word, yep. not willing that any should perish, but that all shall come to repentance. Right. So so you think of it this way. That the Lord ain't done it yet because he's waiting for all of the elect to, to come to repentance, right? And when, they, and when, and when it's, everyone's sewn up in the way that the Lord sees fit, he's going to destroy this place. Keep going. Come on. Uh, verse 10, it reads, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, mm -hmm. in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right, the elements melting with fervent heat. The scriptures also talk about it uh, being a fire not blown. Right, so that you, what 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 kind of fire is that? So most fire sustains itself, right? There's uh there's three things: you need uh, oxygen, fuel, mm -hmm. and a uh, source of ignition. Right, those are the three things that you need for fire. But this scripture, the, the scriptures, I'm sorry, say that this fire is a fire not blown, meaning they don't they don't need oxygen. The only only kind of fire that does that is radiant fire, the fire that comes from uh uh, uh the, that whatever they got from ICBM missiles they. The, the nuclear, that nuclear fire, right? That radiant fire that's going to come out of those missiles, man. A fire not blown, and it's going to wipe this place out. Man. Yep. Yep. The scriptures tell you that. The scriptures tell you that. There's only one thing on this. Matter of fact, what's that? Uh, 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 Isaiah 54 and 16. Isaiah 54 and 16. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yep, yep. Isaiah 54 verse 16. Yep. Behold. I have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire. Right, so there, there had to be a, a smith for this fire. Right, it wasn't just a fire, because anybody could start a fire. But this fire had to be a smith for it. Which is, what, what, what was a smith? In ancient times, a smith was one who, who created uh, all, kinds of, all kinds of metal instruments, right? But mostly, his bread and butter were axes, swords, things and weapons, and weapons of war. Yep, yep. Um, no, that's that was the point. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Yep. Come on. And, and it says, um, it says the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Mm -hmm. It says the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Right. The works and all and everything in here is going to be burned up. It's going. This, this the scriptures say in Isaiah 34 that this place is going to be made into a, a burning pitch. Right. Keep going. Mm -hmm. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Yep. What men of persons are ye to be in all the, on all holy conversation and godliness? Right. It says, looking for and hastening unto the coming day of the Lord, right. wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right, so when you look up that um, that, that term there, uh, what men of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, that's the Greek word in a stroke. It speaks to your behavior, right? your conduct, and how you act. Right? And so the, the scripture is telling you, all right, so you know these things are going to happen. You know that this place is going to be destroyed and there's nothing you can do about it. So what type of conduct should you have? Right? What type of, what, how should you be behaving yourself as a man? Right? And that's the, that's what your mindset should be. How, how can I get right with the Heavenly Father? What do I need to do? What more do I need to do to get back right with the Heavenly Father? And that's a part of putting those wedding garments on. Matter of fact, I had a dream. I can't remember the first part of it, but the middle part of it, uh, me, me, I was in the mirror putting on the, some wedding garments, and I was checking to make sure everything was was on me right, and, and everybody had their uh, their their wedding garments on. We was, was getting ready to go to a wedding. Yep. I can't remember the first part of the dream, but the first part of the dream kind of kind of oh it's, oh it was uh something was something was being built, 
right? So everything was being like torn down. So if you if you ever seen like a, a bathroom, an old bathroom that was built like in the early earlier 1900s, when you take off the, the sheetrock, the way they used to frame the walls back then were different, right? So you so you see, and it was like that in the, in the dream. It was all all like gutted, and it was being rebuilt. And then my wife came in, and she was like, "Wow, this, this was rebuilt." The right way. This was this is this is a beautiful kitchen, right? And then and then again we was in the you know in the mirror it was a big mirror, and everybody in the mirror was you know putting on their wedding garments like a, like a, like you know the tuxedos that you wear in the wedding. Yeah, that was a dream I had, man. It's, like, it's, it's symbolic too. It's a kitchen. It's where you cook food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You feed yeah. the people. Yep, yep, I got this for you, Elder. Yep. Now, yeah, I'm all set. Now, um, this is a Matthew chapter um, 24. I'm going to start verse 35 to 42. Mm -hmm. And he says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And in verse 36, But of that day and hour yeah. knoweth no he man. Said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Um, go to uh, Isaiah 55. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 55 and 11. And it reads, uh, So shall my word that go forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void, right. but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Yeah. So read, read this off again. Turn up. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It, it, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I speak, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Right. So the Heavenly Father is not wasteful with his words. Everything that he said is going to happen is going to happen. Right. There's not one thing that the Lord said was going to happen that has been written in these scriptures that are not going to happen. Right. Every, everything that he said was going to happen is going to happen. And contrary to belief, it, those missiles are a part of that. Right. Those missiles are a big part of that. You know? Keep going. And he says in um, verse, um, verse 36, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angel right. of heaven, but my father's right, only. Right, so we don't know exactly when it's gonna happen, right? I can't tell you, you had these one, this one group that was out here for a little while, what was it, June 21st? Yep. 2021, was yeah, it? Yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember, I think, it, I think it was right though. I can't remember. It might've been even longer, longer, longer yeah. than that. But, yeah, but in any case, they were passing out flyers and they was out here for weeks. Yep. Passing out flyers, repent, the Lord is coming. On this day, Blase, and it happened to be a day when we was at a camp, and that day was, we didn't see none of them out here. The flowers yep. was gone. <laughs> <laughs> none, of them, none of them people were out here because you can't tell anybody the day. The day is for the Heavenly Father. It's, right. it's His day. That's why it's called the Day of the Lord. Yep. Right? It's not our day. Right? It's the Day of the Lord. We don't know what time and what day. But, you know, like, hey, look, at 2.30. Uh, at, at, at so. That's a lot of me. Talking about the wedding gown. Mm -hmm. Oh, the wedding garment. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't uh, pink tux. You know, white tuxedo. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all white tuxedo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all right, though. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, it's all good, And he says, um, and you know what he said, verse 37, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, as the, but as the days of Noah's war, yep. so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah, yeah. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, mm -hmm. marrying, mm -hmm. and giving in marriage yes. until the day that no one entered in the in, ark. In other words, they were they were living their lives the way they saw fit, right? They weren't worried about what the Heavenly Father's plans were. They weren't worried about what the will of the Father was. They were living their own lives. And with that prophecy, is that Matthew 24? Yep. And just like that, this, it says in the scripture here, it's going to happen the same way this time. When you look around the world today, People are more concerned about what they have going on. Yep. You know, I, I, can't, I can't be worried about that religion stuff. I got too much on my plate. You know what I'm saying? You want this now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want mine. I want mine now. I got, no, I got no time to be waiting for God. That's what he said. I got no time to be waiting for God. I want, I want mine now. I say that's, a, that's the biggest thing in the block, too. Mm -hmm. That's what scripture says. It says, uh, since the father fell asleep, all seems to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they actually believe, like, 
you know, since it's, um, the song place is still song. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They thinking like, shit, I can go feed myself. I can still get on the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. People are hopeful in Babylon. Yeah, yeah. We, we, another thing we were talking about earlier today. You, you got you got people that just think, it's, it's arrogant to think that a place like this was be destroyed. But what's not only that, the brother is speaking on, you got people trying to wait for that last minute when something pop off, and then they're gonna spring into action. Oh, oh, it's gonna man. be too late, man. You, you know, what's that? Uh, what's that? Uh, Ecclesiastes. Uh, um, um, maybe. I'm thinking of uh, twelve and one. Oh, okay, it's not you, my brother. Ecclesiasticus chapter five, verse seven. Mm -hmm. Make no tarrying to turn to the yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah. And put not off from day to day. Yeah, not not when this when it, when the hell is about to break loose. You see the time of Jacob's trouble. Everybody's waiting in line. For the for the for the see him. Everybody in line. When it's time to they can step up in the line, get their get their hand uh you know, see him up. You don't wait till then. You do it you do it now. Right. Yep. All right. Keep going. Uh, for Somebody get that in uh, Ecclesiastes. Well we won. Uh, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and yep. put not off from day to, from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, mm -hmm. and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. That's right. That's right. That's right. So don't wait to, to turn your life over to the Lord. All right. Really, really, what, one thing I'm learning, uh, or, or that I've learned throughout, throughout my time in the, in the truth, is that we're, we're, to say to say come to the Lord, it, it, that's a for, it should be a foreign term because your life should be geared towards. What the heavenly father wants out of a man everything that the scriptures say that's how you should live your life right so to come to the lord should be a foreign concept because this is our culture this is this is you know the law statutes and commandments are just like any other nation's law statutes and commandments right every nation that's a, a sustained one has rules regulations and a code of ethics right so right and so these are ours Right? So it shouldn't, it shouldn't be no coming to the Lord. You should live your life in this way. Alright, bro. You should be coming with them damn trucks. Oh, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you were saying you got to leave. I thought you were saying you got to leave. Nah, they come with them damn trucks. That's all good. Is this their part? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 7 Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord And put not off from day to day For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth And in thy security Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of You know what that reminds me of uh, Thessalonians It says uh, uh, that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night Right? For the same reason Everybody you know, ain't thinking about what the Lord wants Nobody thinking about what the Lord gave me to do, right? I, look, I don't have no time for religion. You, you, you keep your Christianity to yourself, pal, you know? And they continue doing the things that they do. They walk through the park with their family. They're going to go to work tomorrow, right? They're going to, you know, I don't know, go on vacation to, for the weekend and, you know, get on their boat, go fishing. Everybody wants to do what they want to do. They want to build their life so that they can be comfortable, right? But the Lord is, has something else in mind. The Lord got different plans, man. Go ahead, bro. You got something? Come on, this is Matthew 25. You got something too? Matthew 25 and 1. Mm -hmm. It says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be like unto ten virgins, which took mm -hmm. their lamps yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Mm -hmm. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. Yeah. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessel with right. their lamp. Right, so in other words, they embarked on a journey and they weren't prepared, right? They were living their life and they weren't thinking about being prepared for the worst to come, right? Go ahead. It says, while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. All right, but it's taking a while for the bridegroom to come out. Let's take a nap. Let's take a nap, right? It's yeah. Go ahead. It says, like you like read, it's... Can you, can you go back to that? Yeah, let's see right the bridegroom. It says something specific that made me think of a uh, person going out 
Right. Come, uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and 7, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, yep. and put not off from day to day. Mm -hmm. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, right. and in thy security right. thou shalt be and, destroyed. In thy security thou shalt be destroyed. So when you say peace and safety, when you're comfortable, when you're taking a nap, right? That's when it's gonna happen to you. Go ahead. It says, and at midnight there was a cry made. Yep. Behold the that horn, that horn or that trumpet. That watchman was on the on the wall of the city, and the Lord was coming, and they blew that trumpet, man. The, the trumpet was blowing. They woke up from the sleep. Oh, there's a cry coming. In. You know how you get woken up out of your sleep? You got your eyes trying to open your eyes and adjust your eyes so you can see. Go ahead. It says, and at midnight there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and, tet and trimmed their lamp. Right, so everybody that was prepared, right, did what they were supposed to do at that time, trim their lamp so you can see, right? What do you, when, you, when you're trimming your lamp, you're doing so so that you can see, right? Go ahead. Uh, I got the, uh, it said the, uh, the word for uh, trim. Yep. It says cosmos. Yep. It says to put in order, ar arrange, yep. make ready, and prepare. That's it. That's it. Go ahead. It says, uh, then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamp, and the fool is said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our right. lamps are gone. Right. Yeah, hey man, uh, we, 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 you know, we pack our bags quite right. Can we get some of your oil? No, you can't have my oil. I'm trying to see. Well, I'm, I'm going to see. It's dark outside. How am I going to see? Right? Keep going. It says, But the wise answer say, Not so lest there be not enough for us yeah. and you, yeah. but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. Right, right, yeah. right. And that, goes, that also goes into what's happening right now. Mm. There are a lot of guys out there who are you know, bringing out certain doctrine oh, that, that they believe that. is the truth, but it ain't the truth, you know? And now they, you know, they're trying to spread their word or create their own uh, established you know, foundation to be these next guys who, are, who the Lord has chosen, man. And that shit is out of here. The Lord has already set the men up who he wanted to set up to push them further this gospel. We ain't going backwards, man. We're not going back and, you know, as scripture says, crucify y'all, bust y'all, shy of flesh, man. We're not going backwards. It's moving forward, man. And if you don't want to roll, we're going to get rolled over. And that's about it. You got no time to be bullshitting. We're trying to get the hell out of here, man. Got it, got it. Now, I'm going to go back to the priest says about this, about this out. Go back to Matthew. Are you finished on that? I got some more. Yes, yeah, more. Oh, Come on, verse 10. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him and uh, to the marriage, and the door was shut. Mm -hmm. The door was shut. Why is that? Because the Lord has already set up his elect, man. Everybody's going to come up some other way or try to come up to the back door and slip and slip and slip and slip and themselves in. Go ahead. Uh, just, um, just to back up on your sayings, going into uh, you know that Noah's Ark when the door was shut yeah. and everybody else that was right, outside right, the Ark died. Right, right. the Lord pretty much shut that door, man. You know, you let Esau tell the story. You got to eat my climb on the side of the Ark and shimmy his way and the hatching busting through the wall. Nah, the Lord shut that door because again, Noah was a compassionate man. You know, he would have heard people, oh, that's my man out there, come on in. But the Lord had already set it up, man. It was already predestined that. Eight was gonna be on that boat with them animals, and that was it, man. That was it. So you better, you people better get your minds right, because when the Lord starts beaming brothers up, man, you wanna hope you're in that number to get delivered out of here, or you're gonna be destroyed watching those missiles come down upon your head and crash your damn skull, and that's it, man. Go ahead. Now, if you go back to Matthew again, uh, Matthew 24, I'm gonna we'll start with stay new. We're gonna tell it again. It says, For after the dead that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. Marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then verse 40 he says, Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Yep, yep, yep. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Yep. Watch therefore. For ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Watch therefore, because you don't know what, what time it is. You don't and, know when it's coming. And, 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 what, and what kind of man would you be right from the uh, Let's say it's happening, it happening, it's going to happen Wednesday. And all the way up to Tuesday night, you're acting like a fool. Right? They said, won't be sincere. What's that? What's that? called? Uh, the, uh, this is the actual 12 and 1. This is the 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, but thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in it. 
Now we're you waiting for the, the bad times to come this Oh yeah, yeah, my bad Lord, Lord God. I was I was tripping back down, you know. Yeah, you know how I get you know, I'm tripping sometimes. No, it's, it's you gotta give the Lord the better years of your life, you know. You know, you always you, you should oh your mind should always be geared towards what the how about Shimmy Al Shah wants. Should be your mindset, you know, and that's why it's so easy for us to come out on the highways and byways on a regular basis because our minds are geared toward what the Heavenly Father wants. Let me be a little bit more on that. Yeah, yeah. While the sun, no, the uh, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return to return to the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, mm -hmm. and the strong men shall bow themselves. Yeah. And the grinders cease yep. because there are few, yep. and those that look out the windows be darkened. Yep. If I may, yeah, yeah, yeah. these are the things that are going to be taking place, man. You know, don't wait till you start to see the show, the store shut down. You saw starting to close up shop. You got to get yourself right, man. In the grinding season, I mean, these things are happening slowly but surely, but they're not happening fast enough for people to really take action. Right now, the shit was steam lining right down the road. Shit was closing. Everybody was like, what's happening? What's going on? But the Lord is, the Lord is magnificent in His works. He's slowly doing things gradually, even though things are speeding up. But certain things are, are moving slowly because the people are going to get caught out there, man. He wants them to get caught out there because He's given them enough time to hear this word. Here it is, 2024. Well, this, you know, the, the apostles pretty much started in 2007. Started going, you know, viral with the videos, and here we are now. And you still got scoffers and scorners out there talking shit, you know, talking about we out of control, we, we have dreamers, and all this other nonsense. But the Lord is doing exactly what He needs to do. He's gonna put everybody to sleep. Everybody got that that, that spirit of darkness is upon these people. And therefore, when the Lord does break out and bust some shit down, people are gonna try to come and say, Lord, Lord. And he says in um, verse 43 and then 44, and he says, But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what wash the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. That's what, what makes it so so special is that no one knows the time. Right. right. So you do the you do the right thing even when you don't know the time. Right. Because you know? at any given moment, what did it say? Uh, uh, the blessed is that man. Uh, I'm about to go to it. Yeah. 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 He's going yeah. there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 And he says, therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as you think not the son of man cometh. Yeah. Who then is faithful a wise servant? Mm -hmm. Whom his Lord have made ruler over his household. Verse um, verse 45. Let's go get to your point. Yeah, no, I just was curious. Yeah, uh, uh, to, to give them meat and due season. Mm -hmm. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he come, if shall find so doing. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So when you, when you, you gotta always be doing it, right? And, and, and list your things, right? What, what things can you be doing? You can be reading, right? You can be studying, you can get into some historical topic, right? You can, you can be doing a lesson, right? You can be Making up a test. There's, a, there's plenty of things that you can do you know, geared towards what you're calling a brother, counseling, you know. There's plenty of things that you can be doing uh, so that you can be found so doing. You know? And that's that whole, that's that whole conversation that you were talking about in the second Your conduct, your actions. Yep, yep. Now, yep. verse 48, and he says, But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayed his coming, yep. and shall begin to smite his fallen servant, yep. And to eat and drink with with, with, with the right, drunkest. Right, so, my, so Lord, the labor is coming. So what do you do? You go back into the world. Right? You start getting haircuts again. You start. You start. You start. You know, doing those things that you used to do back in the world. You start, uh, whatever, whatever it was you were doing in the world, you start doing those things because the Lord is, is taking too long. You know, in your mind's eye. Yep. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day. Where he looketh not for him. Yep. So as soon, as soon as you, as soon as you get back comfortable, you get back in the world first. You go back in the world, you be like this. Yep. Testing the water, out pulling. Yeah. You jump out there. You say, oh, that ain't, ain't too bad. You say you start getting back into doing what you was doing. Oh, and as soon as you get comfortable, the Lord gonna wipe your ass out, man. As soon as you get comfortable. And he says, and in an hour that he is not aware of. Right. In an hour that he is not aware of. Right? Our, 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 our goal, or let me say it this way, 
our, our duty should be to be watching, watching to see if these things are getting closer and closer because they are. Okay, you, you, look, you look around, man. Look at some of these uh, uh, so-called uh, prophetic news sites that, are, that you know just kind of keep you in the loop of what my um, um, uh, current events are. Right? You'll see. Go, go on your, your, you know, your old RT and Al Jazeera and all yep. those different news outlets, so you can see what's happening in the world. Right, you look at the America's news, uh, uh, Teddy got shot. And, yeah. Uh, you look at the, you know, the America's news, uh, they got a, a puppy that's his birthday is today. <laughs> and, and his, his name is, is Joe Biden. And you look at the little Joe Biden puppy, and his name is Joe, and his birthday is today. And look at him jumping around. And, did, it, did it talk about that celebrity? Nothing, nothing to do with it. Celebrity. Celebrity. Oh, oh, this, oh that's somebody cheating with that celebrity. Yep. That's celebrity. Yep. Yeah, and that's, what you, that's what you're going to see in those, in those uh, American news outlets. But, Find out what's happening in the world, man. Exactly. So you can see what time it is. God, God. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. The sentence against the evil work but not executed speedily. Therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right. So, you know, because, you know, nothing's happening, what do they do? They kind of just, you know, fall back into their old habits. Fall back into their old ways, right? But the Lord is going to destroy America. Man. You know, you know, you know, you know why? Because he said he would. Because he said he was, and he gave you, and he gave you nations. He gave you examples of what not to do, or to say, if if these people do this, or if there's a nation doing this, here is their here is their outcome. This is what's going to happen to them if they do these things. Go ahead, bro. Now, just to back up on what you were saying, yep. you know, you being as a father, right? Like you would tell your son, don't let me don't let me see you doing what those other kids are doing, exactly. right? Exactly. If you do what those other kids are doing, you're yep. going to be punished. That's it. It's the same with sense of exactly. exactly. the father. Exactly. And then he said, look, you see, you see what happened to Tyrone, don't you? And Tyrone, he was down there, he was messing around, doing things he wasn't supposed to do, look what happened to him. But they're not listening. You're right, bro. You're right. And so that's, what, that's what's happening right now. America is doing the same things in this world that the old world did, right? The same things in this world that Sodom and Gomorrah did. And the same thing that the, the, the kingdoms before did, right? Again, as we, as we know, this is the what? The second leg of the Roman Empire, right? Yep. And so they're doing the same things that the Roman Empire did, right? And so with all of those things being said, with all of those things being done, what is its demise? If, if you if you constantly you say you say when I put this much yeast in my mixture, this is how much bread I yield, right? You keep doing that, you keep doing that, you keep doing that, right? You now know the formula of what's going to happen. Right. So we know the formula. When a nation is behaving the way this nation is behaving, I was watching Joe Rogan. I wish I could find a clip. I've been trying to find it every once in a while. There was a guy who was saying that he was doing some historical research, or if you do the historical research, when, when kingdoms fall, they start being concerned about um, um, things like the LGBTQ right. community. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, so, and so when you when they get towards the end of their of their rule and their, uh, of their of, of, uh, of their reign. So oh, yeah, so, so so now yeah. so now you get this this picture of the Last Supper, this the world famous picture of the Last Supper. I think uh, Leonardo da Vinci painted, right? And it's, that that in and of itself is already a marker because of, because of the way it looks and how it's depicted. And then there, all tracks. I did, I did yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got you got you got the the original that Leonardo da Vinci painted, right? How did he paint the Lord? He painted the Lord to look like Caesar Borgia, right? So that in and of itself is already a mockery, but they turned it up a notch. They turned it up a notch, and now they got the, uh, the they, they have the uh, LGBTQ community depicted in their selves as the ones that are having the Last Supper. But you're really, it is your Last Supper. It is your, this is your Last, last Supper. This is your Last Supper. Right. Now, when you when you when you go into the scriptures and you read about the story that's associated with that picture, the Lord wasn't happy and playing around. He was getting ready to die, man. That was really that was literally his last meal yep. before he died, right? So it's not a light thing, and they're making it a light thing and they're playing around. The Lord is going. I'm telling you, man. When I be seeing stuff like that, man, they're going to destroy this place. Man. You can't. I was telling you earlier, you can't go to the store and get some snacks, man. 
just want a couple of, you know, just a couple of snacks. $40 for a couple of snacks. You be thinking, I'm like, God damn, we're going to destroy this place, man. Yeah. And you, you see things like that. You see things where they make a mockery of, of the scriptures. They make a mockery of our Lord. They make a mockery of the Heavenly Father, right? Yeah. You have, this place has to go, man. And and and, I'm, and I know, okay, you can know, make the argument that that was done in France, right? But all all of all of this world that we live in today is the kingdom of Edom. This is the kingdom of Edom. So anything that they perpetuate, anything that they're pushing out there in the mainstream, it's a part of this system. It's a part of the beast system, and it all has to be destroyed. All of it. Real quick, mm -hmm. uh, Galatians six and seven. Mm. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sow, that shall right, he also right. reap. So, so, what is this place sown, man? Wickedness. What is this place sown? Right, wickedness. Right. So, what is it going to reap? It's going to reap the same thing. The scriptures say in uh, Revelation eighteen, it oh, says, "The Lord her double according to her works." Yep. Right. Revelation eighteen and four, and I. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. But trouble on that field. There's no face in there. Pure trouble. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. And that ye receive not of her pledge. Yep. Verse five: For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. Yep. Reward her even as she rewarded you, yep. and double unto her, double according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. Yep. So that's going to be the judgment of Babylon. Is that we, we uh, briefly mentioned uh, the Olympics that's happening in Paris. That wickedness mostly steps from the uh, Edom, but the, the cup that's been, that wickedness has been passed from Babylon, man. They made all the earth junk. So that's why the scripture says, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. So they push forth sin as the new normalcy. But if we speak out against it, we are looked at as haters or you know, evil speakers. Yeah, right? yeah. The liberation of that shit started here. Yeah. Yeah. They spread it, they spread it outward. You know? yeah. It, 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 they, they did it here. They, they marched down parade just like they did, they did in French. Yeah. Every certain year, what they call five months, you know, half big in front of your kid. Now, now, here's the funny thing is the Lord that make pull that out there said, that should not be walking down, down the street in, in a decent exposure. Yeah, yeah. That's part of the United States law. What did you, what, what you just say? No, that. The, the, the oh, I, I, okay, I you know, you know, they, they put a law out there said that that should yeah, not expose yeah, itself I, in I, decent. I, 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 but yet, they have a prime of where but have butt naked men. Woman walking yeah, down we, the street. I was um I was going, this is last last yeah. June, not this past June that just passed, but yeah. last year. I went the back way to get to the um to the highway. And uh they had the whole block. The whole block was shut down. The stage in the middle of the road and they was over there dancing and jumping and screaming. It was like a a scene out of like a uh how you say it, like a scary movie. Where you get the demons and they're just screaming that, that's yeah. that's what it sounded like going by there. And I was like, damn the whole the whole road was blocked off and it was and for, as, for as far as you can see yeah, half mm -hmm. just a bunch of a bunch of um from but again, there, but know? again no it was it was them demonic spirits yeah, yeah. that are overtaking these people mm -hmm. man we're living in a real demonic place man mm -hmm. right. you know, demonic spirits are everywhere so much to the point where i mean everywhere every place that you go somebody outside this thing got a demon on them, man got an evil demon on them, man. looking at you all crazy We've seen it. We've experienced it. Yeah. People would come up. They'd be Ooh. quiet as hell down there. But when they get to the camp, yeah. when I get by the camp, they go right back to regular form and just keep it pushing. Yeah. You know? I got to ask since you mentioned that, or I got to watch here. It's also Revelation 18. I watch your mission. It's, it's in Revelation 18, right? You no, know, no, I'm above it. Okay, good, good. You know, this is a Revelation 18 and 2. And he cried mildly with a strong voice saying, Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, and he's become the habitation of devil. And the whole of every foul spirit, yeah, and, and, and the kids of every other spirit here for birth, but you should be my spirit. Right. You know? Back to those desert, them doleful creatures that are going to be over here ultimately. But America is full of a bunch of demonic spirits, man. Yeah. That's what we said. Ephesians. I got you right here. Good. This is Ephesians six and I started ten. Yep. It says, "Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of His might." Yep. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh Shemel Shai yep. that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yep. 
But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, yep. but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, right. against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right, and, and that spiritual wickedness is all over the place, man. Especially in that music industry, man. Yep. That music industry is the gateway for all that wickedness to be, you know, poured out throughout the world because now it goes into that music. You know, 90% 90, 90 of the people that drive in their car, they got some kind of music on it, right? And that younger generation, that, that, that shit that they did to these, these so-called rappers, what's that dude, the black dude, he, he sang that country song? Oh, Lil Nas X? Yeah, you, yeah. See, now, you see him when he first came out? You see what them devils did to him? They totally converted that dude. So now, that demon that's in him, is now is they, now they're reaching out to other demons, other, other, other kids, I should say, and bringing them in. So that demonic spirit, man, give me um, 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. We're trying to tell you people, man, we're warning you. We're warning you when the Lord starts to stretch out his hand and starts smiting people, don't be surprised, man. Don't be all shook up like you didn't know what was going on. The Lord is about to take action, man. Now, and also, too, um, there was this concert. I don't remember the, the, the concert that happened uh, maybe a couple of years Trap, back. Trap. Was it, was, it, was, it, was it the one when, when, people, when the people die in the concert? Yeah, yeah. You know, Travis, Travis. Travis. it was Travis. Yeah. Now, now this showed like a portal demonic error that was coming out. You know, and this showed like a spirit, like a shuttle was jumping from one person to a person. Someone recorded it. It, it, it was like a, it was like a, like a, like a, like a portal, mm -hmm. and then and, and like an entrance, and then someone recorded like a shadow figure. Jumping from one crowd to, to the next crowd. Where you, you saw this? I'm sorry. Bro. It was the the the, the Travis Travis, uh, Travis Scott yeah. concert, yeah. And, and, and then all of a sudden, it was a portal of hell. Yeah, and then, and then all of a sudden, uh, 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 people got so crowded, many people end up dying in in that concert. But also, but listen, I don't know, I don't know, and I didn't, you know, I don't know about that, but I know this: yeah. them devils got spirits that are working on the left hand side, yeah. and the Lord is sanctioning that. The Lord is giving them them spirits. The Lord is handing them spirits right to them, and they doing their magic, whatever they're doing, man. Yeah. But again, you better come back, man. You people better wake up, because mm -hmm. it's just a matter of time before the Lord starts stretching out his hand. Oh, that yeah, yep. 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 That's why I left. That's That's what, uh, uh, Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11, yep. it says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. So again, you know, there was a time where people would say, Oh, we're fear mongers. We're trying to put the fear in the people. You goddamn right, man. You know the power that created the heaven and earth is a power to do whatever the hell he wants, man. And therefore, we're sitting there knowing the terror of the Lord. We persuade men. And again, the circle and the remnant of us who the Lord has put together thus far, may the Lord watch over us and continue to protect us, man. But I don't want to be on the script to speak about. Uh, um, uh, uh, just keep my mind. It speaks about. Um, when you come against the Lord, um, just, uh, just uh, blew my mind. Good. No, he's ready. Oh, he's ready. He's ready. Yeah. It, it, it is a, uh, it is a, um, a fearful fall. Thing. Yeah, fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. Got you right here. Go ahead, bro. Hey, Hebrews 10 and 31. It's a fearful. Yeah, That's all good. Yeah, it's a uh, Hebrews 10 and 31. Yep. It is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. That's right. I mean, you want to take that risk? Come out and, and, and bullshit, and then walk away and laugh and scoff like you got it made. The Lord will get you, man. The Lord will get you, man. Yeah, I'm to you, no? Go ahead. No, you it's got something? Go ahead. This is uh, Isaiah 66 and 4. It says, I also will choose their delusions yep. and will bring their fear upon them, yep. because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and choose that which I delighted not. Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh me out shy, ye that tremble at his word, your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said the Lord, let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, and they to the day shall be ashamed. That's right, and that's right. Because execution against the evil work is not because judgment against the evil work is not executed speedily. People think, ah, I'm fucking, ain't nothing gonna happen to me. And that's what happens to a lot of cats out here, man. None they go down. They do some bullshit, some wickedness, whatever they do. And next thing you know, like, you know, they gave the example of the water. Oh, ain't nothing happening. All right, good, I'm good. But you, you want to fuck around and tempt the Lord, the Lord's going to get you, man. He may not get you today. He may not get you tomorrow. But you best believe you're going to be in the Lord's crosshairs. You know when a sniper goes out, 
you know, you got your little crosshairs. Mm -hmm. You can hold them crosshairs on you for about 25, 35, 40, however long he wants. You know? And, and just sit there and wait. That's what the Lord is doing, man. The Lord got his crosshairs up. Got niggas all in the crosshairs ready. Ready for the taking, man. Go ahead. Now, can I bring this yeah, 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 go ahead. And that was from the earlier he brought up, you know, the Western Church, which is the he brought out. He's the first seven chapter 16, verse 14 and 15. And he says, But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. Mm -hmm. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold, now an evil spirit from the Most High troubled thee. That's right. Because he brought about, about the evil spirit, man. Mm -hmm. How yeah. the Lord would, would control both the right hand and the left hand side. Mm -hmm. You know? To the point where the Lord controls the, 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 as the Lord have as the Trump as the Trump be blown the city, the Lord have not done it. Right. Yep. You know? Exactly. To the to yep. a point, man, that's what the, the scripture said it is it is um it is um um what you think about the four brother? Fifth I think. Fifth or fifth side the hand of the hand. Yeah, because I, I brought it up because um I brought it up again because when when Saul went to go to the witch because the Lord have left them. You know, that, it, it, it's a fearful thing when the Most High has a panic, you know? And he also feared um, David because he knew the Lord was dealing with him. Exactly. So, the, so, so that's, also, that's a fearful thing. To a point where when, when the Most High is not with you anymore, excuse my language, you fuck. You know? So I have to go to a witch to get, ask counsel for Samuel of what he's supposed to do because, oh. because the Heavenly Father... The witch, you should. <laughs> yeah, the, the witch. Because the, the Heavenly Father haven't been in him. You know, yeah. but he have to come as a disguise so the witch will know that it was him because he used to kill a lot of witches back in his day. You know, and then when when the witch, well, of course it was the Lord that allowed the spirit to come back into the world. You know, and then when when the witch witnessed that it was King Saul, you know, and then Samuel's spirit came in, and Saul asked Samuel, Lord, what I mean, Samuel, what can I do? Most I have abandoned me. He was afraid, he was scared. The most I've ever been in him. He got he, he was trying with, with an evil spirit. The Lord's not there to save them. So what can he do against his enemy? And you know what Samuel says? You know, what can I do? You know? The, if the Lord cannot help you, how can I? And, and he said, This in this very day, tomorrow, you and your son will be with me. That's a scary, fearful thing, man. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that, that, just want to put out this point out, man. That's why you know you want to be in the good grace of the Heavenly Father at all time, man. Uh, I say that, know, that event that's what inspired King David to say, taking that that Holy Spirit away from the past, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. The book of Isaiah 47 and 12: Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, mm -hmm. wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be thou shalt be able to profit. If so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up save, and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Yep, yep. Yeah, I mean, yeah. A lot of people are turning to these demonic, you know, you know, these demonic uh, actions and events, man. You know, give me um, Luke uh, 8 and 27. Start at 27 and work on down. Like, right, there's a lot of demonic Spirits great, bro. You know, I want to say uh, another video of the Boh Bohemian Grove came out. Uh huh. Had, like the first time, I think it was Alex Jones sneaking in the bush. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's another one with that. It looked way different, but the same thing. Oh, the same shit. It's all they all. It's all. It's all wicked, man. It's all on the left hand side. Here, read that. This is uh, Luke chapter eight, verse twenty-six, and it reads: It says they arrive at the country of the guardians, uh, which is over Galilee. It says, when he went forth to the land, there met him out of the city a certain man, which had devils long time and wore no clothes, neither abode in any house, but in the tombs. Yep. It says, when he saw Yahushua, he cried out and fell down before him, mm -hmm. and with a loud voice and said, "What shall?" It says, "What have I do have to do with thee, Yahushua, thou son of, of the Most High? I beseech thee, torment me not, torment me not." Told me not the water. It says, for he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man, for oftentimes it had caught him, 
and he was kept bound with chains and fetters. Now let me say this real quick before he continues on. You, know, you guys think this is a joke? You think this is like, you know, one time when you get on the comic board and talk shit? This is real deal, man. And these scriptures give you clear and convincing examples of what went on back in the ancient times. So you think you think you think the ancient times is done away with where now nothing happens? You think the ancient times are done away with where nothing now is gonna happen? Alright? The Lord, the Lord can send them demonic spirits upon you, man. You know the scriptures speak about when a man turns back into them wicked ways, them seven demons, they get upon you and the work they that man is work lack that man is worse than the first, man. So this here, what's gonna end up happening is Lord, you go, we're gonna read the story. You, you'll hear it. You'll hear it. Continue on, brother. Yeah, great. Now come. And it said, he break the bands and was driven out of the devil into the wilderness. You gotta be so you gotta be on some real high level, you know, strength to bust out some bands, to bust out some chains. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh Shai asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. You see that? So believe you me, man. Lord can have these demonic spirits that will enter right into you, man. You guys want to play around and fuck around? Excuse my language, but this is what we're coming down to, man. This is a this is a place of wickedness. Yeah, there's wickedness all throughout this place, man. Oh, oh I thought that was your phone, bro. Ooh, phone too, you know that glass on the phones, boy. Oh, yeah. Shattered <laughs> like glass. You know, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And it said, um, and they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. And there was there and heard of many swine feeding on the mountain. Yep. And they besought him that he would suffer them to enter into them. That, he, that they would suffer to Ooh. enter into the pigs, man, them swine. You know, you see, uh, again, and watch what happens with the swine. We're gonna, it's going to tell you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And he suffered them. Then went the devils out of the men and entered into the swine. Mm -hmm. And the herd ran oh, violently yeah, yeah. down a steep Ooh. place into the lake and were choked. Right, they killed themselves. They jumped off the, the off the ledge, man. So think about that, man. The Lord, you ever see that movie with Denzel Washington? Every time they walk by, they touch each other. The demons. Oh, 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 I don't know. Oh, is it falling? Oh, 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 this shit is real, man. I see that. One. You know that's why you know shaking hands with people, man. You got to be careful. You can't just be, hey, buddy, hey. You know, you know that 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 dark energy that being people, man. That shit absorb right into you. Sometimes I'm like, yo, all right, I'm fucking all right, yeah. <laughs> That's it, man. Cause you gotta be careful. We're right, living right. in some yeah. really high demonic times, man. Yep. And there's some really high demonic vibrations that are going around, man. You know, Even yeah. people that you don't think they're putting, trying to put a curse on you, you know? Because the, 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 when when Shai was dealing uh, with the with the um, with the demon, he said, Paul, I know Yahweh Shai, I know, but who is he? <laughs> right? Come on. So again. Them spirits know who you are. They know who we are, you know. And this is why you gotta you gotta pray continually that the Lord watch over you and protect you for all of these things, man. Hold on one second. Go ahead, finish mm -hmm. out. In mm -hmm. verse thirty-four, it says, "And when they that fed them saw that it was done, the, the, uh, no, saw them what was done, they fled and went and told it into the city mm -hmm. and into the country." Mm -hmm. It says, "Then they went out to see what was done and came to Yahweh Shai and found the man." And out of whom the devil were departed, Ooh. sitting at the feet of Yahweh Shai, clothed Bad in his slow. right mind, and they were afraid. And they also, which saw it, saw, uh, told yeah, them, them by what percent. means, by what means he that was possessed of the devil were healed. Mm -hmm. You see, so all that being said, all that being said, man, you know, it, it ain't it ain't nothing but a thing for the Lord to put a demonic spirit on you, man. And bug you out. And men have bugged out. Men have had them spirits on. Them, you know? Come into this thing, you fuck around and fall out. Them, them, that one demon, that one demonic spirit goes out and gets seven more wicked than he is. You be all fucked up, man. That's why this ain't no game. You gotta, you, you gotta know what you're getting involved in. You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta know that this is serious. You know, don't come here. Come on, yeah, I left, I left GMS because I didn't like the way they were talking to girls. Really? 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 I love GMS because, you know, they're disrespectful. Fuck out of here, man. You know, it don't matter, yo. We out here doing the work and the bidding of y'all boss y'all shot. You don't like it, too bad. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Luke 11 and 24. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, 
He walked it through dry places seeking rest. Right, you know when you first come in, how liberated you feel? Yep. You feel you feel liberated when you first find out you were Israelite and you the Lord's people and the Lord you know came and died for you and you be like, wow, that's that's powerful, man. And it puts you in that state of mind and then you start when the Lord starts shuffling with you, now you start realizing I'm above all these demons, man. I'm above all these heathens, man. We better than these people. You know, and you just go through that you go through life and you acquire, start to acquire that ruling man, that rulership mentality. You know, you start carrying yourself and your continence is different. People are something's going on with him. Your family see it, they're like, yeah, what's going on with him? You don't say much no more, you know? Because because that that old man is now perished. And that new man is going, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I had a cousin, I had a cousin, she was talking shit. Because when the elder and I used to come out, we had a little, you know, little bubble. So a couple bucks, we throw people throw a couple bucks in there, some gas, whatever. You know, get back and forth. So my cousin that seen me out there, and she went back and told my family, oh, he's out there begging for money. Go and kill that. Just kill the kill that ass. Took it right out, man. And now, again, did one have something to do with the other? Me through the spirit, I believe so, because she's talking shit. You know? Oh, he out there begging for money out in the streets and shit, you know? She had no idea what I was doing. She should have kept her mouth shut. But all that being said, the Lord don't sleep, man. Go ahead. He says, seek it rest and find it none. He said, I will return unto my house whence I came out. Mm -hmm. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Mm -hmm. Then go with he and take it to himself or the spirits more wicked than himself. That's right. Now we just saw what them pigs did. Them pigs that ran off the ledge and killed themselves. Can you imagine what a man goes through when he, he has now left this truth? Went back into the world oh, thinking man. he's good to go. Yeah. You ain't sleeping right at night, man. Yeah. Niggas ain't sleeping at night. Right, 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 right. You know? You're plagued because your mind and your spirit have now crossed over onto that left-hand side where now you no just... Protection. There, there's no protection. That's a great way to put it. The scriptures tell us that we have angels heads yep. about us. Yep. And that's that's not just at camp, but it's in your everyday life. That's right. And you go to the other side, there ain't no angels over there to protect you. That's right. Mm -hmm. But them demons are sitting there waiting for you like, come on over. Come on over. They riding on your shoulder. Well, like, what, you know? Yeah, that's what them spirits and some Jesus do. When that dude was singing that Christmas song, he oh, said, yeah, 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 you got it, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. Who, was it? who was that? Oh, uh, that was, uh, that that was you got it. next guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, him yeah. Was, just years ago, this dude was on there, he was singing, um, what the hell were they singing? Uh, uh, was it 12 Days of Christmas? Oh, they yeah, but they, but they, they kind of flipped it up and yeah, put yeah, like, uh, Israelites, uh, Israelites Israelites yeah, 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 yeah. So the dude and his girl sitting there, you can see them reading the monitor, and they was like, yeah. You can see his eyes, he was all into it, and the dean was like, like this. He was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, you got it, you got it. You know, but hey, but that's, but this is real deal though. This is real deal, this ain't no joke, all right? When a man comes into this thing and falls back out, the worst state of that, the worst part of the ending of that man is worse than the first. You see? And like the elder just mentioned in the scriptures speak about that. You ain't got no protection, man. And you become worse. Your mind becomes worse. And then you start thinking irrational, you know? But you still think you got the spirit on you. You got the spirit on you, the spirit of Satan. Go ahead. Exactly. It says, and they enter in and dwell, and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first state. Right. So be mindful, man, when you come into this thing, you think that uh, I was I used to be a Hebrew Israelite. That's the, that's the that's the line they give you. Yeah, I used to be with the Hebrew Israelites and so on and so forth, all this bullshit. But what? What's gonna happen? You're gonna go back into the world and you may think that you're going back into the world, you are free. But hey, listen man, ain't nobody free, man. You think the Lord's just gonna say, okay, thank you. Great, I'm glad you stopped by. The Lord's now gonna sick them demons on you. Yeah. You're gonna be drowning in by them demons, man. Well, well they are free. The scriptures say that we're prisoners in the hour watch in the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in that sense, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they're free. Now they feel like they can do whatever they want with no consequence. Really, that's the, the ultimate thing, man. Anybody that will leave the truth, they just they just got tired of doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You held a cup for yeah, accountability. Yeah. Nobody yeah. wants to be held accountable. So therefore, they just leave, go out and say, and you know what? Here's, here's the funny thing. Hey, on, brother. Y'all about to show my son. Here's the funny thing, right? A lot of men, they, they try to use Great Millstone as a springboard, right? So what they show on, brother. Y'all about to show me A lot of men, a lot of men try to use GMS as a springboard, right? And, and, when they, and when they fall out, 
now the only thing they can do to get fame or some kind of notoriety is what? Go see Great Millstone. That's what they do. Because they know that that light is shining on the men of Great Millstone. So therefore, you don't see any of these guys going to IUIC's camps or ISUPK camps or GOGCC camps. You don't see them going out there. But where do they go? They all report to Great Millstone because they know Great Millstone is where it's at, man. And all these men, you know, they want to go to GMS. And say, hey, what about this? I got questions. I got questions. You know, only trying to make yourself look good. And if you're not, and if you're, and if you're trying to make yourself look good, what do you do? Oh, these guys from Great Millstone. These guys from Great Millstone. So again, we understand the process, man. It ain't nothing new, and, and it's, it's crazy because the men that were in this thing should have already known. Listen, we got we got you pinned, man. This is gonna be the process, you know. Go ahead, brother. This is our uh, problems 26 and 11. I say, dog returning to his vomit. So is a fool returning to his father. Right. So is a fool returning to his father. Being out there in the world, we got that 10 point. Gotcha. Isaiah chapter said, ten this, this verse one. I'm telling you, bro, this, this is, is terrifying. <laughs> hey, brother. Hey, <laughs> every waking day is like pray to just watch over me and protect me and keep me from the from the, the wiles of the devil, man. Right, right, right. Still, bro, it's right. Go ahead, read that. So Isaiah ten and one. Say a warn to them that decree on watches decree mm -hmm. and the white grief yesterday which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment mm -hmm. and to take away the white from the poor of my people Go ahead. that widows be, may be their prey mm -hmm. and that they may rob the mm -hmm. fatherless. Right. And because what, everything because uh, everything that's going on right now, you saw us putting pen to paper, he's doing all, all these decrees he's putting together, and our people are just sucking it up, man, eating it right up. And they're falling right onto that wicked side. Everything in Babylon is wicked, man. And they're trying to fall after Esau and try to do things that Esau's doing. Don't you know this is his kingdom? The Lord gave him his kingdom. And here Jake is still talking about, yeah, we're going to build, we're going to get this, we're going to make this, you know, all this, all the nonsense. Go ahead. And he says, and what will you do in the day of visitation and in the, and in the desolation you shall come from far? Yeah, what are you going to do in the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord, man? What you going to do? All of a sudden, yeah, Lord, I was, you know, I, I, it's too late, man. It's too late. That's why we're ready to read that season 12 chapter. You know, seek the Lord before the evil days come. Because the evil days are coming, man. And the thing is, the thing is, the problem is this. The, the, you Israelites out there, you Jake's out there, you have never experienced anything. So therefore, when you hear these words, you can't take them serious, man. You can't take them serious. This is what faith is all, faith is all about, man. We believe the word. We believe that the Lord is going to do what he said he's going to do, man. And believing and knowing that, and listen, that's, what's, that's what keeps us grounded. Yeah. But these men who go outside of the circle, and, and this has been going on for years, man. 2007, since 2007, to right up until 2024. Men have come, men have gone. Men have come, men have talked shit. That nigga I saw, he, back oh, then, man, that nigga was in the camp. Yeah. Breaking bread, talking, you know, and then getting in the car ride home, talking shit on the videos. <laughs> so, so there's, there's, there's always a group, man. There's always a group. So where we at? Now, let me have a question. Fish the last verse right here. It says, um, to whom will you will you flee for help, and where will you leave your glory? He said, right. to whom will you flee for help? Right. Because you know, Jake, when, when shit hit the fan, they're still going to think that the government is somehow going to find a way to help them. Of course, they're going to come in and say, here, come to the Freeman camp. Yeah. We're, we're here to help you. You know what, though? <laughs> you know? Of all the scoffers and scorners who have been scoffers through the years, they now have come secret disciples of Great Millstone. Right. Oh. Now they're believing. Now they're seeing the prophecies. Yep. Now they're hearing the word. Now they're all of a sudden shalom. Again, we don't know, but you ain't. You can't fool the Lord. The Lord knows who you are and what you've done and the words that you've always spoke about against the men of the Lord. Now you got guys talking about, oh, I always knew. I always knew Great Millstone had the truth, but you know, I would just I had to see what else was out there. It's a lot here, man. If the Lord's gonna guide you to the right place where you need to be, or he's not. And guys who jump from house to house, house to house, well, they, they, they just lost in their own confusion, man. Yeah, Scripture right. speak about going from house to house. Either you get to a place, and that's and that's one thing I can say about some of these groups. You know, they may be with IUIC or whoever, but I'll say this, at least they're loyal. You know, mm -hmm. even though they're going off, at least they're little, they ain't bouncing. Cause you got a lot of cats. This cat who's running around now, you know, with this Ezekiel 38 thing, he go, he was all over the place. He was at this camp, he was at that camp. He ended up with those guys. 
if we he, uh, he's unstable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, John 10 and 27. It says, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Right, and that's clear, man. And it's simple. The Lord said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. To get up in this thing, right? Because the scripture speaks about, you know, hold fast to the things that you've learned. We, this is what we've learned, brothers and brothers. This is what we've learned. And this is what we, we, we focus on. When we keep keep focused and keep, uh, keep a, a, a single mind on things, man. But when men want to be better than themselves, and they try to, you know, be these, you know, top guys of, the, of, of Israel, it's all, most of the shit is money tripping. Most of the shit is money driven. They see some of these guys who are making big bucks and now they're trying to establish their their, their uh, congregation for themselves. Hey, brothers and sisters, you know, send this, this, this. Listen, man, the dollar's gonna collapse. Right. This shit is out of here. What's gonna happen when the dollar collapse? All these big mega Israelite camps that got thousands of members and they got flow cash flow. Yeah, what's yeah. gonna happen, man? That shit, the Lord's gonna bust it up. Go ahead. Right, right, There's something that I've been perceiving through the spirit. You know how the scripture says that, um, not many mighty are called, not many noble. Right. So the Lord put the Holy Spirit in regular men. Yep. They ain't out here flashing. They yep. just teaching the word, going home. Yep. All these other camps, they come with the uniforms all oh, ironed up. You know what I'm saying? Looking boys. good. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Got, got oh. the line up for all of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, and, and also, too, if I may, this recently they were having a, 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 a marching parade, walking like soldier, saying, yo. I was shy, Yasha Ola, walking down the whole street block, you know, blocking traffic, you know, and just showing their might. Right, but it's all gimmicks. Yeah. It's all gimmicks. The Lord ain't about gimmicks, man. The Lord is yeah. about to get downright nasty out here, man. The scripture says it's a fearful thing. If you want to test the Lord and be about gimmicks, then the Lord's going to give you a gimmick, man. All right, I'm going to, you got something, brother, I'm going to come right around. All right, yeah. go ahead. This is chapter 1, verse 11. How will you have it to the Hattash for all the merchant people are cut down? Yep. And all that bare silver are cut off. Right, and, and, and here in Babylon, your modern day Mac test would be New York the Stock Exchange, man. Mm -hmm. That would be the modern day Mac test because there's always, you know, funds and trade and, 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 and commodities going back and forth. And that's gonna drop off the bottom, man. And when you start seeing these crackers jump off the roof, you know the time is here. Because <laughs> that's their MO. <laughs> they start losing it all, next thing you know, they swan diving off the fucking buildings, man. <laughs> so how are you having some Mac Tesh? But not only that, but everybody's going to be hollering. Because when the dollar collapsed, now they're going to have to move with vigor to implement what? The MOTB. Right. You got, you got, so hold on, we got a, a little so break in the... In this the, is uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 1. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of the Most High. Like uh, you said, you, you know, no, no gimmicks here. No gimmicks, right, right. We just coming straight forward, man. And it's serious, man. You know, people call us bums and all this other stuff. But why is everybody flocking to them in a great most of them? Everybody's now flocking. All those individuals who may not be involved with a camp, but the comic boards are flooded these days, man. Because everybody's looking for that, everybody's looking for the truth. Nobody wants to die here in Babylon at the end of the day, you know? Go ahead, you got any more on that? Yes. Go ahead. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, and crucified. Yep. And I was with you in weakness, and in fear, and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words right. of man's wisdom. Right, we don't get enticed. I mean, listen, we barely see some of the words we try to, we fumble through, you know, we just try to get by. But you brothers understand where we're coming from. Yep. You know, and we always give the example of light. Life was a nigga that was, he was fantastic. He was fantastic with the words, big words. And, and you know, Jake, our, ten, our, our people's tension span is so short, but they get amazed quickly, man, by the simplest thing. Jake, oh shit, oh! But life was like, oh, the, the, the open down Mangala, you know? Yeah, it's like, and, and Jake is agreeing with him, but they don't understand him. Yeah. That's the confusing thing. You want to agree with somebody using these big old words talking about, yeah, he's right, he's right. But you don't understand half of shit he told you just now. You know, but again, he didn't come to you with enticing words. We come with the simplicity of heart. Listen, here's what it is, brother. We fumble, we stumble over some words, even when we come out here and we're speaking, and you know, we fumble and we get, yeah, we're stumbling on the lips. When we fumble over words, either might be like, oh, oh you, you pronounced that wrong, you pronounced that wrong. Well, sorry we didn't grow up the way you grew up, but. We know who we're talking to, and they know who, they understand what we're saying. Go ahead. Yep. It says, 
Verse 4, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. Right. Of man's wisdom. And this is why we always resort back to the Scriptures. No matter what we do, we resort back to our foundation, which is the Scriptures. Right? You know, the Scriptures say, Let the Most High be true, but every man in life. Right. So that's why we come out of the foundation. Because we've always had years through the years people come up and the spirit be rolling. And once they understand we're using the scriptures as our foundation, what do they say? Don't use the Bible. No, don't, don't use the Bible. What give me what you think. Well, that's not how it works. You come to our form. This is this is the Lord's form. And this is how the Lord said we let everything be done decently and in order. Alright? Alright, you good with that, Elder? Yeah. Cunt. Alright, finish off where you at. You finishing off? Go ahead. Of Mark chapter 1, I'll read it to again. Now you inhabitants of Magtech, right. for all the merchant people are cut down, right. all they that bear silver are cut off. Right. And that's going to happen to all you people, man. All you people who got some, you know, stocks and, you know, especially Jake kill me, man. Jake, they kill me when they enter into the stock market. <laughs> yeah, you know, my dividends and the stock is the bet and the third. Yeah, but it's all going to come, come crashing down because they're following Chase right after Esau, man. You know, they don't realize the big picture what's going on here, all right? Esau's been telling you time and time again in his movies, in his novels, everything that Esau's been putting out, he's been telling you. We're about to come down on your ass. Ready or not, we're coming. You see? Go ahead. Verse 12, you shall come to Paris at that time, and I will search Jerusalem with candles, and punish the men that have settled on their leaves, mm -hmm. and say in their hearts, the Lord, you Move up, brother, move up. Mm-hmm. They're settled on their leaves. So he's going to search Jerusalem with candles, meaning what? He's going to go through the midst, man. And he's going, the Lord's going to find those, the Lord has found those men who he has sought out to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cut it. All right. All right, got it? Yeah, I got you. Right? So he's going to search Jerusalem with candles. And again, the, the, the men, the sincere men who truly believe in this thing, the Lord's going to watch out for, Lord willing, man. A lot of you guys are faking the fool, you know? Talking that great talk, you know? Trying to be super duper Israelites. We come out here with stand red bits, we give it to you uncut, you know? Uncensored, we just give it to you that we should, man. All right, go ahead. Punish the men that have set up on their knees, then say in their hearts, The Lord Yahweh's me or star will not be good, neither will he do evil. Right, and that's big, man. That's big because now you got men teaching that the Lord is all sal just salvation. Just the Lord is a the Lord is a man of war, man. Mm -hmm. You think Yahweh Shah is sitting on the right hand side, <laughs> waiting to come down just to give everybody a hug and a kiss, man? Read the scriptures, man. Read what he's coming to do. Read what he's coming to do. All right? Who is this that coming with dying garments from Boswell? What does that mean? The Lord's coming back to do some damage out here, man. Yeah. You know, the Lord will do no evil. Ah, he won't do that. Well, what makes you think? The Lord loves everybody. If I may add, okay. you know, throughout history, uh, uh, okay, brother, brother, brother. throughout history, the Lord have committed the Israelite to not only to destroy the man the battlefield, but to enter into, into, into the city and slaughter men, women, and children. Right. You know? Right. Even animals, right. but people never read that part of the scripture because in, in Christian society it's all about love. Well, the no. Lord could never, possibly never do that. They always leave that part out, and then with that part, where the Lord showed just how vicious mm -hmm. He can be. Mm -hmm. The scripture says that He's a King of Terror. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> so the Most High is not about playing games. And the Most High is giving order. Yeah, the Lord said we're going to do worse to them. What they have done to us? Imagine the terror we're going to bring. Uh, to, to our enemy. Now the scripture says that we shall meditate terror upon yep. them, man. Yep. Right. You know? Yep. Well, that's, hey, again, yeah, yeah. you guys want to test the Lord? Be our guest, man. Go ahead. Verse 13, Therefore their goods shall become a booty, and their houses a desolation. They, all, they shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. Mm -hmm. And they shall plant vineyards, but not in the land of Yep, so if you think you, uh, you got it going on over here in Babylon the Great, you gonna build your barn up and build greater and build bigger and say to yourself, Lord, I have enough, you know, 
But all this is gonna be taken away, man. Mm. That's why we tell brothers, man, hey, just be ready, man. You know, keep your shoes by. I, I, I like to tell brothers, keep your shoes by your bed. Yeah. You know, you, just, you never know. You don't have to get up, be on the move, and be out. You know, don't expect to, don't expect you gonna go home. You know, we may be out here, you know, getting down. All of a sudden, shit might jump mm. off. We ain't getting back home. That's it. Yeah. You know, so we don't know. That's why the scriptures say, you don't know what time. You don't know what the Lord's gonna pop off, man. Set this whole thing up because he saw in the chip got to be implemented before the destruction comes. Right. All right. The scriptures speak about man shall desire to go into a city. Should we going to go see your family members? And ain't gonna be happy, man. Oh, that's good. That's right. really but hold on, hold on. Let me get these brothers. They on deck. Go ahead. I'll come right to you. Go ahead. I got you. Um, the book of First Peter, chapter four, and verse seventeen, and it reads, "For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of power." Right, the, the Lord's house. That's where judgment's going to begin. You know, all jokers been joking around far too long. Now the time is coming. Go ahead. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of power? I'm telling you, man, it's, it's going to be an ugly sight. It's going to be an ugly sight. The scriptures say it's going when that time comes. Gonna be the slaying of many, man. The Lord's gonna slay many. And just keep yourself, Lord willing, keep yourself out of that number. <laughs> you know? Go ahead. First Peter 4 and 18, and it reads, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Right, if the righteous scarcely be saved. So we ourselves, man, we hope and pray that the Lord, you know, who knows when it goes down, you know, the missile might be coming all of a sudden at the last minute, the Lord zooms us up, man. Like, oh shit, get up in the chariot, whoa. You know, but however it works out, may the Lord have us in his in his arms, man. May he have us under his wings. However it works out. We pray for the brotherhood and all those who believe, man. We keep doing we keep doing hearts, man. Go ahead. Uh, it's the book of Luke, chapter four, uh, 14 and 16. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many. Sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs to go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married. Right here a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Yep. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the, and the hope and the blind. Mm -hmm. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. The Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Right, when we, come out, when we come out here, we're listen, we're, we're giving you the word. Whether he, whether they for, whether they hear or whether they forbear, that's on him. But if the Lord, is, if you belong to the Lord, he's gonna keep you, man. He's gonna keep you, he's gonna build you, he's gonna let the spirit dwell upon you, and Lord willing, you're gonna receive his word. Right, we're coming down to it, man. This whole thing is about to come down upon this whole place, man. America's about to be in real bad shape. Right, man. Right? And, and it's going to get even worse. Yeah. You know, the time is playing. The time playing game is up. Go ahead, finish off. For well, I say unto you that none of these men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. That's right. So believe you me, man. When you come out, you come into this thing and you believe, believe wholeheartedly. Don't be lukewarm. Don't be tiptoeing around. Well, I, I, I didn't get it. Listen, man. This word has been going out for years. And at this point in time, we couldn't. We ain't dealing with people. We wipe it. Get out of here. We got nothing to do with you. See you later. All right? Who got something else? Got something Go ahead. Uh, second Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them. Right. That, this, is, this is another thing that people ain't teaching. The Lord is about to make a, a, a great grave over here, man. For many great miseries are about to come on the plate. Go ahead. Uh, for many great miseries shall be done to them. That in the latter time shall dwell in the world yep. because they have walked in great, great pride. pride. Right. These people have walked in great pride. So these miseries that are going to come upon, the Lord might subject you to the famine that's going to happen. He might subject you to the pestilence that are going to be here. He might subject you to the, the, the wrath of the enemy that's going to come in like a flood. You, you, you don't think these things are going to happen? 
You don't think they're already ready and gearing up, man? America's finished, man. This place is about to go down. If you want to go down, you're going to go down with it, man. Right. And also, too, they're, they're talking about it, that, that they are that already built, uh, like, of millions of guilt and a thousand of guilt. I can't say what the word Guilty. In preparation. Yep. And then when they're going to behead the people, they're going to do it in a public execution. Right. You know, yep. so the whole world can see to put to put order in, in, in line, yeah, man. Sure. And, and and that's what and that's when the the Lord gonna see whether are you gonna die, you know, or take that chips. Yep. Yep. It's gonna be it's gonna come to that crossroads. And that crossroads is gonna determine whether whether you are the Lord or whether you are or for that, that branch to be destroyed, man. Alright? Got something else. Go ahead. On the back of that second oh, sure, 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 sure. Uh, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, and verse 25, and I'm going to jump down to the point. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from power, for thine enemy hath persecuted thee, yep. but shortly thou shalt see his destruction yep. and shalt tread upon his neck. Right, right. And those enemies are, are, are definitely going to come upon us, man. They're going to come upon us with fierce anger and wrath, man. And we hope and pray through the spirit of power, we all watch, we all shine, that we get covered. And we are, we have that hedge about us, man. Because the scriptures say, all those who are going against the Heavenly Father and His Son, in that vein, they will not be protected. All right, go ahead. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, yep. and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you being mm -hmm. idols with things offered unto idols, mm -hmm. and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision, mm -hmm. and reapproach, and trodden on the foot. Mm -hmm. For there shall be in every place, and in the next city, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. That's key, that's, that's simple. That great insurrection, and we are going to witness that insurrection, man. And that's the thing, when shit starts going down, right, the American people, they're so, they're so prideful. Right. When shit starts going down, everybody likes to flock to the center. Everybody's out there protesting. But in, 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 every, in every instance, everybody dispersed, everybody went home, they go to work, oh, I was out there by the water cooler, as they say. We was out there, we was protesting, the police came, blah, blah, blah. The time is gonna come where you people ain't gonna make it home, man. Right. You're gonna come out to these functions where when you think that you're just gonna be the regular status, oh, status quo, we're gonna go out, run around, talk, but that day, when this insurrection starts popping off, Lord, you ain't going home, man. Give me a second, that was uh, 6 and 50. Go ahead. It says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, mm -hmm. for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. They should be like madmen, sparing none. And we've gone through this many times, brothers. We've gone through this. So therefore, we understand that we know when these things happen, we ain't gonna be taken by surprise. We ain't gonna be shook up. You know, I always refer to a video that you saw went to this house, these jakes, and they was fucking banging on the door, boom, boom, boom. So the woman, oh, the woman was recording it, and it's like, what do you want, what do you want? And open the door, it's like, why? We didn't do nothing, we're sleeping. You saw a guy in there, and they fucking screaming, and ah, what is happening? Listen, you saw when he's, give, when he's giving that green light, there's gonna be no stopping him, man. Real quick, oh, the, look what just happened to Sonia, um, Sonia Max. Oh, the black woman? The black woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, just, she just says, in the, in, the, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. Yeah. Pop her yeah. right, right hey. in the well, head, man. Well, that's... <laughs> yeah, hey, Jesus just... got him real mad. That's it. Yeah, that's it. exactly. Hey, listen, listen. So, this is the woman I was dealing with years ago. <laughs> her mother her mother had demons on her, straight up. Real demons. And, um... She was in the house that was going back and forth, and her mother was like, Jesus, that little that, Jesus, that what is it? And she was like, that's not his name, his name is Yahweh Shai. Exactly. And her mother bugged out. Yeah. Don't say that name! Don't say that name! Yeah. I was like, yo, she told me that, and I believed it too, bro. Yeah. But again, we're dealing with spiritual things here, man. Yeah. There's that, those spiritual, those spiritual, uh, those spiritual attributes that are taking place in this place, man. Spiritual wickedness in high places. I'll say, as soon as um, Sonya said I rebuke you, the as soon as she said he said I'll shoot you in your face. Yep. And then right your face. she said it one more time, and then she got shot. In the face. And, and, yep. and, also, <laughs> and also, to real quick too, there was a lot of spill a response video near toward that, where a lot of people was having doubt about the name Jesus. But this is at home. Isn't the name of Jesus supposed to be a powerful name? Mm -hmm. Why this? When she said the name of Jesus, she still got shot. 
you know, it goes to show that the, the, the true name isn't isn't Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh, you know, not in the name that the, that that Esau gave you, Jesus, Jehovah, yeah. or, 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 or Yahweh. Yeah. That's so, so they ain't gonna be she the only one that's gonna be shot. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, second is eight fifty. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is uh, second Ezra uh, eight and fifty. It reads, it says, uh, for many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Right. So many great misery. So people gonna be miserable, man. And then and only then are they gonna be looking to seek the men of the Lord. Then they're gonna be like, oh, you know, we heard you guys talking about that. What was you saying? Right. And however the spirit rolls at that moment, whether we say get the fuck up out of here. Whether they say, you know, because it's going to be at our discretion. The Lord's going to give us that power. It's at our discretion. You know, when you go to Isaiah 4 and 1, it says, uh, several women will take hold of one man saying, that's at our discretion. Bitch, nah, you, nah, you was talking shit. Get out of here. We ain't, we ain't coming over here. So again, the Lord is going to make us more precious than fine gold. People are going to flock to us. People are going to look for us. People are going to feel protected around us. Because they're going to understand that we have that hedge through spirit and power, Lord willing, of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, that hedge about us where we're going to be dwelling safely, man. All right? You got something? Uh, real quick. Uh, well, you know, you yes, for sure. Yep. Um, this is uh, Amos 8 and 11, and it reads, uh, Behold, the day come, the days come, said the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, yep. not a famine of bread, right. nor a thirst for water, right. but of the hearing of the words of the Lord. Right. There's nobody teaching it, and everybody can be hearing it. So there's going to be a famine of hearing the word of the Lord. So that means the Lord's going to sew these things up, sew these camps up, and we ain't going to be out here. And that's when people are going to run to and fro looking and trying to seek the word of the Lord and not be able to find it. See, these are the days we're coming in, man. The, 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 listen, it's the, the, the broad way is wide right now. Because everybody's falling for every wind of doctrine. But the true word of Yahweh Bash Me Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and 10. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imagination, yep. which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. For whoso despiseth wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain. Their labor is unfruitful, and their works are profitable. Right. You despise the, work, the word of the Lord, you will be miserable. Yeah. So you, will be, you will be hopeless, man. You know, we talk about it, we, and these things are happening. But we pray and hope that Yahweh Shai executes this thing speedily, man. That he puts this thing in place. We're tired of seeing this bullshit. We're tired of hearing the bullshit, man. It's time, man. If the Lord put the spirit on us to go through and tear down and rip up, may the Lord give us the spirit to do so. You know? Go ahead. I got um, Jeremiah 15 in the Good News Bible. Copy that. Uh, verse 1, and it reads, yep. Then the Lord Yahweh said to me, even if Moses and Samuel were standing here pleading with me, I would not show these people any mercy. Make them go away, make them get out of my sight. When they ask you where they should go, tell them that I have said, some are doomed to die by disease. That's where they will go. Yep, some are due to die by disease. And let me tell you, the Lord had already prophesied that, that there's gonna be a pestilence, man. There's gonna be some pestilence going around. Who knows what? He saw it's not done. That's, that's what damn sure. He is not done doing what he does. Let alone something that, you know, you, may you cut yourself and you get infected, you know, oh shit doesn't. But he saw it's gonna put some shit out there that's gonna really sting a lot of you niggas, man. They orchestrating the family right now because Friday just came out um disease called hysteria. Hysteria, yep. 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 So, yep. So I think it's in New York, Connecticut, yeah, it's Ohio. It's making Kentucky. this rounds. Yeah. It's making this rounds. So it's like yep. a Walmart Kroger's and uh, all these. So they, they basically trying to get, they about to justify getting rid of food. Getting rid of food and implementing some type of, mm -hmm. some type of mandate where you got to now mask up, you got to right. now stay in the house. And that's what I think ultimately was going to end up happening, man. They're going to end up pushing it where you're going to have to stay in the house. You can't leave your house. Oh, yeah. And then, and then and then they're going to they gonna put the, the flip of rule on it, nigga. You're going to try to go out next thing you know, you got to report to your local city hall to get your new electronic, you know, uh, financial device. You know? The desire to go into a city should not be able. Yep. And then probably have two, because I remember when that, when that C-19 happened in China, people couldn't go to the store to get food. The birds have to be the ones to, to bring the food toward them. And, 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 and you, have no, you have no trust in the matter what food you can eat. What they give you is what you have to accept. You know, so to the point where the people got so fed up, 
they, 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 they left and they started protesting out, out in the street because the washing that the military was giving to them was not enough, right. you know, for, for, for them in their family. So it's, it's gonna be like why well, something happened here in the United States. Yep. You know? They're gonna have they're gonna force you to stay at home and they're gonna bring the food to you. But you don't know if he's gonna put poison in that damn food, he's trying to kill you even, even further. It's already poisoned, brother. So yeah, 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 you are. Right. Yeah. to eat the best of the worst. Yep, yep, yep. Like said, exactly, this exactly. is gonna be fulfilled. In the, in, the, in, the, in the land of their captivity, they're going to eat the defiled bread, man. Come, come, so they, come. It's already being fulfilled, you know? I mean, again, if the Lord don't shorten the days, there's going to be no flesh left on the same. Yep, yep. That's the bottom line. Yeah, come. That's the bottom line to all this. Because, again, water, food and water is a necessity to man, yep. right? You can't even drink the goddamn water you got now because there's all kinds of fluoride, fluoride and all kinds of chemicals oh, in the right. shit, man. And it's, it's below... It's below, even it's even below the, the, the level of drinking water, man. So therefore, you look at those pipes that your, your faucet water comes through, you cut them pipes open, yep. all kinds of calcium buildup, all kinds of fucking shit buildup, oh, rusty yeah. shit. I mean, that shit, that's... Do they call it the chemical? Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. It's, it's miserable, man. We gotta, and even, you think you're buying filtered water? You ain't buying filtered water. You look on some of these bottles, man, it tells you fucking, you know, manufacturing over there in fucking Dorchester, Massachusetts. Ain't no goddamn hot springs over there, man. So the devil, man. Let me get to get this. This is Matthew 4 and 4. It says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Most High. That's right. So this is what's keeping us sustained. I mean, the time's gonna come when we may not have no food, but wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of that time. That's right. This word is gonna keep us standing, man. That's right. And may the Lord at that time guide his servants because he said, what? Ye shall be, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. So that time is gonna come where we ain't gonna be worried about it, man. We ain't gonna be worried about it, but everybody else, as soon as they shut some shit down, they're gonna have the news cameras out there at the local, you know, at the local uh, food pantry or whatever. You know, what are you feeling? You know, the black woman, I got nine kids and how much to do? You know, but it's always in it's always in the so-called black community that they run to to get the, 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 the reaction of, of our people. I will go here first and come right to you. This is the same chapter. Oh, 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 slot, go ahead. Continue yep. Yeah, good. Others are doomed to die in war. Right. That's where they will go. Right, others are doomed to die in war. And we know that World War III is coming up, man. All right? So that draft is coming. All these things are happening, man. And it's a beautiful time to be a part of this thing, man. Because everything's unfolding right before our very eyes. 2008, 2009. We're seeing some of the some of the prophecies coming in, but now they're coming in abundance, man. From the right, from the left, they're just coming all over the place. Go ahead. Some are doomed to die of starvation. Yep. That's where they will go. Yep. Others are doomed to be taken away as prisoners. That's yep. where they will go. Yep. As the scripture says, some of them should be taken away. So therefore, again, what we what the scriptures are telling you, what the word of the Lord is telling you that there's going to be no help for you unless you are trusting in the Heavenly Father and the Son. Right. 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 One more verse. Yep. I, the Lord, Jeremiah 15 and verse 3, I, the Lord, Yahweh, have, to, have decided that four terrible things will happen to them. They will be killed in war, yep. their bodies will be dragged out by dogs, mm -hmm. birds will eat them, yep. and wild animals will devour what is left over. Well, and that's the course of nature. Yep. Yeah. That's the course of nature. You see, you know, them animals that be laying in the street, where them birds come down, thought vultures be picking at this yep. shit and shit. You know, dogs would be ripping, tearing people apart, but that's nature. And the Lord's gonna make these wild beasts return to their nature, as they normally do. When they see a dead carcass somewhere, they go and feed on it. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be a point in time there's gonna be no bones all over the place. So be between the fowls of the air and the and the beasts of the field and the fucking maggots and you know maggots do a, a number one on carcasses too, man. You watch you watch if you watch one of those things on Discovery Channel, you watch a, 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 a carcass, yep, a time lapse of a carcass with maggots. They'll devour some shit quick, man. You know, so all, all across the board, the Lord's going to send all kinds of hell out here, man. You know? At two of the, like, a lot of them big ass, dangerous pit bull dog, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. the Lord's going to put this spirit, because they, they were talking about, about what would happen if they, if they were to be in a, in a, in a common shutdown. They said that they would, even the zoo, they got to let the zoo wide open so all them animals want, want free, you know? Yeah. Throughout the fourth right. corner. Well, they're going to do that on purpose anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gonna, a lot of things they're going to do because why not? 
Why not? You know, they don't care. They don't care. Lying to me, talking to people, eating people, man, tearing tear their flesh. Yeah. And, 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 and even your own dogs are going to turn against you. Because, right. because when there's no food to eat, you know, and you know, this show was big ass pit bull dog, you know, you know, like holding his chain. That same dog gonna eat you in your sleep, man. He's gonna get, eat you in your family, man. All right, go so, ahead, brother. This is uh, Ecclesiastes, also known as the Book of Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. That's right. So these vengeance, these spirits that the Lord created for vengeance. They're going to appease him that made them. So everything goes and returns back to the Lord. It's all of the Lord, man. Death, life, death, destruction, everything you can possibly think of under the sun is all sanctioned by the Heavenly Father and the Son. There's no ifs and buts about it. And people say, well, the Lord do something like that because he's the Lord and he can do it. That's right. Because he made it. He created it. You know, you got something in your house. Let's say you, let's say you build Legos, right? You got Legos and you put Legos together. And one day you just come in the room and like, you know what? Smash! Somebody's gonna be like, well, why would you do something like that? It took you two years to make it. It was my shit. It was my shit. I made it. I want to bust it up. You got something to say? You get busted up too. Right. You know? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. It says fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Right. That's this. That's what the Lord put in place. Fire, hail. What else? Fire, hail, famine, famine, death. death. All these were created for vengeance. Come see that. So when somebody dies, somebody has a violent death. That was vengeance of the Lord. Don't think it's strange because you know this thing in the hood got shot up and got his head blown off. Everybody's like, oh my God, that was of the Lord. That's vengeance of the Lord because that nigga did something he wasn't supposed to be doing. These are Romans nine and nineteen. It says, "Thou will say then unto me." Why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Right. Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against the most high? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Right, you know, you, you, you build a violin, and the violin goes like, Yo, why you make me like this, man? I wanted nine strings. My fault. What's going on here? Go ahead. Hath not the potter power over the clay, yep. the same lump? To make one vessel unto honor yep. and another unto dishonor. Right, he can do that because he is the potter. He can form it however he wants. He can make a heart on this side. He can make a knife on this side. He can do whatever he wants. He's the potter. Go ahead. What if the Most High, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath and yep. destruction? That's right. And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy. That's right. And, which may, he and may we be a part of those yeah. vessels of mercy, man. May he may we be may, may we be may we be may we be found to be those vessels, man, that he have mercy upon. You know, this thing is going out throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And not everybody's receiving this thing. And, and I'm happy about that. Because you got a lot of people that don't deserve to hear this word or receive this word. But the shit that they've done and the shit that they're doing. Here we are coming out here risking our lives, hazarding our lives week in and week out to get the word out. We got niggas coming on the corner for talking big shit, man. Go ahead. It says, it says, um, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, mm -hmm. which he had afore prepared unto glory, even us, mm -hmm. whom he has called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. And those Gentiles were Israelites. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's who the call is going out to. Those Gentiles are Israelites who are living in a Gentile state of mind, taking on the customs of the lands in which they live. Right? You had Israelites that were living in different regions that was going by uh, as their nationality of the region they lived in. You see? So therefore, because they lived in that region, that, region, that doesn't make them a true uh, citizen, a, a true citizen, if you will, of that region, man. When you, when you go down to Matthew's 10th chapter, it's breaking down whom the Lord has chosen. And it says, um, one of them was uh, of Canaan. I think it was a Canaan, a Canaanite. Yeah, Simon the Canaan. Canaanite. You know, that doesn't mean he was of that nation. He just dwelt there. That's where his home was. But he was an Israelite. But that, that right there is just a, a, a huge stumbling block for a lot of men, man. 
Yeah. You know? You got all you good on the album? I got a definition of the word from diaspora. Go ahead. Um Google definition, diaspora is a dispersion or spread of a people from their original home. From their original home. Right. And we all you know what though, I'll say this though? Nobody really nobody really is in dispute that the Israelites were scattered all about the world. That's that's not really in dispute. Because the scriptures say that we were gonna be scattered, and we were scattered. The dispute comes in now, now that the term Gentile has been has been labeled, now it, it doesn't really apply to the Israelites, but everybody else. You see? There's two types of Gentiles. There's the natural Gentiles of the other nations, and then there was the Gentile Israelite who took on the customs of these other nations. You see? But again, let the reapers and the angels handle that, and these scars and scores will have to find out that way. Yeah, they don't believe what I reported. Right? You got something else? I got more. Good. The book of the back of the book. just said. The book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. Yep. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles yep. until the times of the Gentiles be prevailed. Right. Here we go. Alright? You look at you look at what's going on in the world, man. The Lord has now raised up his men. We have been identified as these men of the Lord. And all these you know, so-called biblical scholars, they're talking about you know, the children of Israel, they turn their back on the Lord, so the Lord is no longer, these people are no longer the Lord's chosen people and all this madness. It, it is absolutely crazy to me to think that you can read the scriptures and say that the group of Edomites are, are no more, they're gone, they're done away with. An Edomite, you, you know, you can't even tell me what Edomite is these days, you know? There's been so many different mixes of the races, you know, even Herod. He looked like a Jake. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He was even ruling over Jake. But he was an Edomite. See? But it, go ahead, no, go ahead. Ecclesiastes, I think it's the ninth chapter, I believe. It says there's no end of all, all the people. All the people. Yeah. Yep. 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 But but what what now take it now, dig it now. We're getting these from these highly educated scholars who've done the research. And they've come to the conclusion that all the Edomites were wiped out years ago. Come on, man. Are you supposed to believe that shit, man? And that's why this, that's why this place got to go. They just full of lies and deceit. I had, a, I had a ukulele, but the cops just... Go ahead, brother. Up. Finish off, brother. Oh, that, that was the point on that. I had one Real. more stuff for you. Good. Uh, the book of... Uh, I got it. Sure, bro. Forgive me. Please. Bless me. Please. Bless me. No idea. The book of Second. Oh, man. Spiritual weakness in high places, man. It's them spirits, man. You'd be surprised. You said, these niggas don't want to talk about I got a ukulele. You talking about I got a ukulele. You were, just, you were just saying that a while ago, you have people, people come, come up, and get crazy come up, and yeah. then go back and return to the spirit. As he walked away, he normalized. Normalized, yeah. Right, right, right. That's the spirit, you see? The Lord's always going to give you an example, man. All right, where we at? Esau still here. The book of Second Hedges, chapter 6, and verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Right, so if that is to be true. Esau must be still here because Jacob's not in rulership yet. Jacob is not ruled. Jacob is not in rulership. Yahweh Shai is not on the, on the earth because the scriptures say we go. He's gonna dwell amongst us, right. and there's gonna be no more war and all these things that 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 go with the children of Israel being raised up, being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, ruling the other nations. Everybody flowing unto us with their goods. I mean, and it's being more. It, it's being known more now that the so-called Negroes, West Indian, Puerto Ricans, Latins, and Native Americans are the children of Israel. There, there are Edomites out there teaching that, man, and rightfully so. And they understand, and these Edomites that are teaching that, they understand what their fate is, man. They understand that they're gonna be under subjection under the Israelites. You got something else? Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, you hold back your charge, that it shall no more be said, the Lord Yahweh shall stand living, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord Yahweh shall stand living, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, right. and from all the lands whither he has driven them. Right. And I will bring them, I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Right. 
So therefore, the Lord's going to raise us up out of the land of the north, which is North America, and all the islands of the sea, all right? And the hopeful elect is going to be beamed up, you know, men, women, and children, right. because the Lord is going to have mercy on whom he have mercy. So those who are going to get beamed up, they're probably not a, a bulk of them out on the, out on, out, out on, out, are not out on the highways and byways, but the Lord's going to have mercy, man. It may be, it may be a cat that came up one day and just heard the word. And, you know, he walked away in, in his heart and said, you know what, I believe these brothers. The Lord may have mercy on a man like that. So, again, it's the Lord's program. We just come out and do as we're commanded to do. And the angels and the reapers are going to, you know, handle things where they need to be handled when that time comes. But our job is to push that word to get it out there, that it tickles the ears of our people so they may have an opportunity to hear that word. All right? Anybody got anything else? All right, so with that, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh, the ones that apostle great millstone once again that rule well. Shalom on to all the brothers on the highways and byways doing the word sincerely and faithfully. Lord willing, we are found that number to be delivered. With that, we're going to say, Baba 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 Baba